TV. Welcome to New York City and welcome to my crib. It's crazy psychedelic, so get ready. Music is my life and I attend a performing arts school where I get to sing every day. Art plays a big part of my life and my mom, April, makes sure our creative juices are always flowing. She's a visual artist and she's created this amazing place for me and my sister to call home. Thanks to her, we have our own window to the world. Welcome to the city that never sleeps. This is the room when you first walk in. It's the foyer. The floor is in the style of Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock was an artist that was known for the style of splatter painting. When I was thinking about my apartment, I thought very much about my children. And I thought about the idea of incorporating elements into the physical space that would make them feel that they were considered um, in a really big way. I'm gonna take you to the living room. It's really colorful, just like the rest of the house. So let's go. All of the pieces of furniture are sculptures my mom made. They all have a different name. This couch is called Can He Do the Rumba, You Can Do the Twist. My mom also made this for an art show she was in. Her piece was right next to Yoko Ono's. It's not unusual for us to have a Christmas tree all year long. My mom says that every day is a holiday. She doesn't see any reason that we should take down our Christmas tree because why not, it's fun. I like having the view because it's really cool at night. You can see all the lights of the city on. When there's like a snowstorm, everything's white and it's really beautiful. This is the dining room slash chair museum. As you can see, there's no dining room table because it like never came. Dylan will say that it really bothers her that we have a dining room with no dining room table. She thinks that it's, you know, it's not normal. And so that disturbs her sense of order, I guess. I wish we had a dining room table, but we don't, so instead, my mom has this installation here of all these chairs. It's called the where and the how. There's like little lights around and it just looks like cool and it's lit up. It's really nice to be able to come here because it's like a psychedelic environment. You can just explore your own thoughts and emotions just by looking at things. Allison, if you could take anything in this room for free, because I know you're always tight on money. Yeah. <laughs> what would you want to take? The couch over there. I just think it's the perfect size and the perfect everything. All of the colors are just explosive and they're just beautiful, everything about it. I love it. You guys are probably gonna bug out when you see our kitchen, because it's really awesome. Sister Lyris. Hi. This is my crib also. This is our kitchen table. We use this table for like formal dinners. The legs of this table are really cool because my mom made them herself. There's a bunch of little stuff in it. Like there's pictures of us, it's me and my sister. All of the legs are different shapes and they all have quirky little things. It's fun to have breakfast here because we have the view here as well. You can see the Empire State Building, which is one of the most famous buildings in New York City. Not a lot of people I know have these types of cabinets and they're pretty colorful. Every cabinet has a different shape cut out and a different color. The other kitchens are boring compared to this kitchen because I mean, it's not really like a kitchen, it's like a piece of artwork. We're 
gonna take you down the hallway. It's my mom's room and her bathroom. Her room is crazy. Her bathroom is amazing. You're gonna die, but <laughs> don't die, because then you can't see it. This is our mom's bed. She designed the headboard herself. It's all vintage fabrics. There's little drawers in the headboard. There's this little hole here. Lyris used to yeah. climb in and out of it so she could fit through it. And then like one day I couldn't fit in there anymore and it was like the worst day of my life. I love my mom's closet because she has like a million pairs of amazing shoes. She has like crazy vintage clothes that you can't find anywhere else that are amazing. I borrow her clothes all the time. I don't mind them wearing my clothes, but I like to be asked. I think it's nice that my kids like the things that I like as well. This is my mom's bathroom. It's crazy. There's tiles everywhere, even on the tub. A lot of the tiles have designs on them that we actually colored onto them ourselves with Sharpies. Some of the tiles have notes on them. There's one right here. It says, with love from April, <laughs> except since you're writing on the backs of the tiles, you have to write backwards. So she forgot to write from backwards, so it says, with love, morph April. This is my mom's tub. It's pretty big. I bet you we could all fit in it if we wanted to. My friends love this, this bathroom. I think this tub is like the coolest thing. I find Dylan in here every morning. I say good morning to her as she passes me in my bed on her way to my bathroom to use the shower. Except it's not really good morning, it's like we exchange grunts. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. <laughs> This is my room. This is my desk. This is where I do homework. I have a blog. I blog about a lot of things. I blog about New York City and fashion and music. I have my loft here. My sister used to sleep up here for like a year until I kicked her out and told her she needed to sleep in her own room. I hope they look back at it and um, have an appreciation, understanding for what I did for them in terms of trying to make it interesting and making it different and making it lively and giving them a place where they could really feel special. Okay, you guys have seen my whole apartment and my room. So it's time to go because we have places to go and people to see. So we're going to head out into the big bad apple. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my apartment.